The Little Prince Chapter 1 Hat The book says, Snakes eat the whole animal. And they sleep for six months. I think about the life in the forest. I make my first picture. This is my picture number one. The picture shows the inside of the big snake. I show my fantastic picture to one person. And I ask this person, Are you scared? This person answers, How can I be scared? It is a hat. My picture is not a picture of a hat. It is a picture of a big snake. An elephant is inside the snake. Then I make my picture number two. The picture shows the inside of the big snake. Now people understand. This is my picture number two. People don't understand simple things, people tell me what they think. They tell me that it is not good to make pictures. They tell me that it is better to study geography, history, maths and grammar. After these words, I don't want to make pictures. I don't want to make pictures because my picture number one and picture number two are not good for the people. People don't understand simple things. And now, I am not a child. I am a big person. I have a job. I am a pilot. I fly planes. I fly in many countries. And it is true that geography is good for me. Geography can help me if I am lost in the night. In my life, I work with people every day. The people are often serious. Sometimes I meet a person who is a little normal. When I meet this person, I show him my picture number one. I always have this picture with me. I want to know if this person understands life. But the person always says, it is a hat. Then I never speak to this person about big snakes or forests or stars. And we speak about work, sport and family. And the person is happy. For him I am a normal man. I live alone. I don't know people for an open conversation. But one day it all changes. I have an accident in the Sahara Desert, something is broken in my plane. I have nobody in the plane with me. It is not easy to repair the plane alone. But I must do it. It is a question of life or death. I have water for only a week. Chapter 2 Sheep The first night, I sleep on the sand. I am a thousand miles from a land with people. I think that no people are around me. So I am shocked when somebody speaks to me in the morning. I hear these words, please, draw me a sheep. What? Draw me a sheep. I jump up. I look around, and I see a little man, this is the picture of the little man. My picture is not very good. The original model is better. It is not my mistake. I know how to draw only two pictures. They are pictures of a snake from the outside and a snake from the inside. I look at this little man. I am really surprised. Don't forget that I am a thousand miles from a land with people. 
Something is very interesting. This little man is not tired. He is not hungry. He is not thirsty. He is not scared. He doesn't look lost in the middle of the desert, a thousand miles from a land with people, the little man says, very slowly, please draw me a sheep. It is all very strange to me. I am a thousand miles from a land with people. I am in danger of death. But I take a pen and paper from my pocket. I want to draw a picture. Then I remember that I know only geography, history, maths and grammar. And I tell the little man that I don't know how to draw. He says, it is okay. Draw me a sheep. But I don't know how to draw a sheep. So I draw him a picture which I am able to draw. It is a big snake from the outside. And I am shocked when the little man says, No. I don't want an elephant inside a big snake. A big snake is a very dangerous animal. And an elephant is very big for me. Where I live, everything is very small. I need a sheep. The little man looks at the picture. Then he says, no. This sheep is ill. Make me another sheep. My friend smiles at me. You must see it too. This is not a sheep. It is a ram. It has horns. This sheep is old. I want a sheep which can live a long time. It is not easy for me. I don't have time for this. I must start my work on the plane. And I say, this is a box. The sheep is inside. I am surprised when I see the light in his face, this is what I want. Do you think that this sheep needs a lot of grass? Why? Because where I live, everything is very small. I think that there is enough grass for the sheep. This is a very small sheep. The little man looks at the picture. And he says, the sheep is not very small. It is a very nice sheep. This is my first day with the little prince. Chapter 3 Planet I want to know more about the little prince. I want to know where he lives. The little prince asks me many questions. I also ask him questions. But he doesn't answer my questions. But when he speaks, I slowly start to understand many things. For example, when he looks at my plane, he asks, what is this thing? I answer, it is a plane. It can fly. It is my plane. And I am happy when I tell him that I can fly. Then he says, what? Are you from the sky? Yes, I say dot it is funny. And the little prince starts to laugh. I am angry. My situation is not good. How can somebody think that it is funny? Then he says, so you also come from the sky like me. What is your planet? At this moment I start to understand more about him. I ask, do you come from another planet? But he doesn't answer. He looks at my plane again. Then he says, on this thing, you can't come from very far. And he starts to think. 
Then he takes the picture with his sheep. And he looks at his sheep, but I want to know more. So I ask again, where is your planet? Where do you want to take your sheep? He is quiet. Then he says, the box is a good thing. At night, I can use the box as a house for the sheep. Yes. And I can also give you a rope. Then you can tie the sheep during the day. But the little prince is shocked when I say this, tie the sheep. It is a funny idea. But if you don't tie the sheep, the sheep can run away. You can lose the sheep. The little prince starts to laugh again, but where can the sheep go? It can go to many places. It can go left. It can go right. The little prince says, the sheep can go away on my planet. It is okay. Where I live, everything is so small. He is a little sad. Then he says, where I live, nobody can go very far. Now I know a second important thing. The planet of the little prince is very small. It is like a house, but it isn't really a big surprise. I know that we don't have only big planets like Earth, Mars or Jupiter. We have also hundreds of other planets. These planets are sometimes very small. If you want to see these planets, you need a very good telescope. When an astronomer discovers such a planet, he doesn't give the planet a name. He gives the planet only a number. The name of the planet is, for example, Asteroid 3251. Chapter 4 Asteroid I think that the planet of the Little Prince is Asteroid B-612.IN 1909. One astronomer discovers this asteroid. The astronomer is from Turkey. He speaks about his asteroid at a big conference. But nobody believes him because he has Turkish clothes. It is crazy but people do these things. He speaks about his asteroid at a big conference, but there is something good for asteroid B612. A Turkish leader says that people in Turkey must have clothes like Europeans. The astronomer speaks about his asteroid again in 1920. He has very nice clothes. And now everybody believes him that he has very nice clothes. I speak about asteroid B612 and I speak about its number because people like numbers. When you tell people that you have a new friend, they never ask you questions about important things. They never ask you, is his voice nice? What games does he play? Does he have butterflies at home? They ask, how old is he? How many brothers does he have? How big is he? How much money does his father have? If they know these numbers, they think that they know this person. If you say to the people, I know a small red house. It has beautiful flowers in the windows. A lot of birds fly around the house, the people can't imagine the house. You must say to the people, I know a big house. It is very expensive. You can buy this house for $100,000. Then the people say, it is a nice house. If you say to the people, 
The little prince exists because he laughs and he wants a sheep. This information is not enough for the adults. They don't believe you. They think that you live in a dream. But if you tell them, the planet of the little prince is asteroid B612, they believe you. This is how the people think. If you understand life, you don't need numbers. You need to hear a nice story. You like to hear, the little prince lives on a small planet. The planet is very small. The little prince is alone. He wants to have a friend. If you understand life, this is what you want to hear. Chapter 5 Elephants It is six years after my meeting with the little prince. When I think about him, I am sad. But I write about the little prince, because I don't want to forget him. It is sad when you forget a friend. Not everybody has a friend. This is the reason why I have paper and colors in my hands now. It is difficult to draw for me when I am old. But I want to do it. I want to make my pictures very good. But I am not sure if I can do it. One picture is okay, but another picture is not very good. I make some mistakes in the size too. Here the little prince is very big. Here he is very small. Maybe the color of his clothes is not correct. But I try to draw as well as possible. But sometimes when my picture is not perfect, it is not my mistake. It is the little prince's mistake. He never explains things to me. Maybe he thinks that I am like him. But unfortunately, I don't see the sheep in the box every day. New information about the little prince's planet comes. I also know more and more about his journey to the earth. The information comes very slowly. The information comes during moments when the little prince thinks about his past. For example, on the third day, the little prince speaks about a problem with the bearbabs. Bearbabs are big trees. The conversation about bearbabs starts when the little prince asks me a question about the sheep. Is it true that sheep eat little trees? Yes. It is true. It is good. I don't understand why it is so important that sheep eat little trees. But the little prince says, so they also eat bear bubs? I tell the little prince that bear bubs aren't little trees, the bear bubs are big trees. The bear babs are very big. They are like houses. And, for example, if you put nine big elephants on your planet, these elephants can't eat one bear bab. The bear babs are so big. The idea of nine elephants is funny for the little prince. And he laughs, on my planet, elephants must stand on elephants. But then he says something clever, when the bear bubs are young, they are very small. It is true, I say. But why is it important that your sheep eats the little bear bubs? He says, it is simple. Think about it. It is not very difficult. So I start to think about the problems with bear bubs. Soon, I have the answer. Chapter 6 Trees I think that on the little prince's planet, 
There are good plants and bad plants. It is normal for all planets. And of course, there are also good seeds of good plants and bad seeds of bad plants. But we can't see seeds. They are in the ground. But one day, every seed wakes up. Then the seed starts to grow. The seed grows slowly to the sun when the plant is very small. You don't know if the plant is some vegetable or a rose. And you can let the plant grow. But when you see that it is a bad plant, it is important to destroy the plant fast. It is is true that there are bad seeds on the planet of the little prince. They are the seeds of baobabs. The ground of the planet is full of them. If you see a baobab too late, you can't destroy it. Then the baobab grows over the whole planet. And if the planet is too small, two or three baobabs can destroy the planet. It is a question of discipline, the little prince tells me. When I wash my face in the morning and when I put on my clothes, then it is time to clean my planet. It is necessary to pull the baobabs when I see them. Sometimes it isn't easy because they are similar to roses when they are very young. It is a very boring job, but very easy. And one day he says to me, you can draw a beautiful picture. The picture can show this situation to children. This information can help children when they travel around the universe. In life, it is sometimes okay to do your work later. But when you do your work with baobabs later, it is always a big problem. I know a planet with a lazy man. Now he has a big problem. He has three big baobabs on his planet. He is not happy. He has three big baobabs on his planet, and, when the little prince speaks about the planet, I make a picture of this planet. People know only a little about the problem with baobabs. And it is possible that one day when you are lost on an asteroid, you can have this problem too. I believe that it is important to know that baobabs can be very dangerous for a small planet. I work so hard on this picture because I want to tell children about the problem which they don't know. I also make the picture very big. It is big because the problem with baobabs can be very big. Chapter 7 Sun Step by step. I start to understand the secrets of the little prince's life. For a long time his only fun is to watch beautiful sunset. This information comes on the fourth day in the morning. The little prince says, I really like sunsets. Let's look at a sunset now. But we must wait, I say, wait? Wait for what? Wait for the moment when the sun is down. The little prince is very surprised. Then he laughs. And he says, I am always thinking that I am at home. Everybody knows this. When it is noon in the United States. The sun is going down in France. If you can fly to France in one minute, you can watch the sunset, but the little prince's planet is very small. You only need to pull your chair four or five meters. And you can watch the sunset when you want the little prince tells me about a day with 43 sunsets. He says, when you are very sad, sunsets are great. 
The day with 43 sunsets must be a sad day. Is it true? I ask. But the little prince doesn't answer. Dot on the fifth day, new information about the little prince's life comes. He asks me, if a sheep eats little trees, does it eat flowers, too? A sheep eats everything what is green, I answer, does a sheep eat flowers with thorns too? Yes. The sheep eats flowers with thorns too. I don't understand, says the little prince, why does the flower have thorns if a sheep can eat the flower? I don't know. At that moment I am very busy. I need to repair my plane. I am scared because my situation starts to be very serious. I have so little water. I think that my death is close. Why does the flower have thorns? The little prince always wants an answer to his question. But at that moment I am angry because I can't repair my plane. I answer without thinking, thorns are good for nothing. Flowers have thorns because they want to hurt others. Oh? The little prince is thinking for a moment. I see that he is a little angry. Then he says, I don't believe you. Flowers are weak. The thorns give them power. Flowers believe that their thorns are big weapons. I say nothing. I am very busy with my plane. Chapter 8 Flower I am still repairing my plane when the little prince says, Do you really believe that flowers have thorns because they want to hurt others? No, I don't believe it. But I don't want to think about it. I am busy with my plane. It is a serious thing. Serious thing? He is shocked. He looks at me. My hands are touching the engine. The engine is dirty. My hands are dirty too. The little prince doesn't like the engine. But the engine is important for me. You talk like the adults. The little prince is not happy. I know that it is my mistake. I don't feel okay. But the little prince continues, you mix everything together. The little prince is angry, I know a planet with a gentleman with a red face. He doesn't have a flower. He doesn't look at stars. He doesn't love other people. He only counts numbers. And all day he repeats again and again, like you, I am a serious man. I am a serious man. And he is very proud. But he is not a man, he is a mushroom. He is a what? A mushroom. The little prince is now very angry. His face is white, flowers have thorns. Sheep eat flowers. And you think that it is not good to try to understand why flowers have thorns. There is a war between the sheep and the flowers. And you think that it is not important? The little prince is still very angry. He continues. You think that the war between the sheep and the flowers is not more important than the numbers of the gentleman with a red face. I know a flower which is the only flower in the world which exists only on my planet. 
It is a flower which a little sheep can eat for breakfast. And you think that this is not important? His face is now red. He continues, if you love a flower which is in the sky, then you are happy when you look at the stars. You are happy because you know that your flower is he says up there. But if the sheep eats the flower, then the sky is very sad for you. He can't say another word. He starts to cry. The night comes. I put my tools on the ground. How important are my tools, my engine, my death now? On one planet, on my planet, the Earth, there is a little prince who needs me. I take him in my arms. I hold him. I say to him, the flower which you love is not in danger. I can draw you something which can protect your flower. I can draw you a fence. You can put the fence around your flower. I can, I don't know what to say to him. I don't feel comfortable. I don't know how to talk to him, how to be his friend again. It is so strange when somebody cries. Chapter 9 Glass I soon have more information about the flower. On the little prince's planet the flowers are always very simple. They are small and they don't talk. They grow in the grass in the morning and they are gone in the evening, but it all changes one day. There is a different seed. It comes from some place which nobody knows. Soon a new flower starts to grow. First she is very small. The little prince watches her very carefully. The flower isn't like other flowers on his planet. The flower can be a new type of bear bab. But she is not a bear bab. She is really a flower. Soon she starts to prepare for opening. The preparation for this moment is long. The flower doesn't want to show her colors fast. Then one morning, exactly at sunrise, the flower shows her colors, and after all her preparation for this moment, she says, Ah, I am sorry. Give me some time. I need some time to be perfect. But the little prince can't hide his feelings, oh. How beautiful you are. Yes, I am beautiful. Look at me. The flower says. And I am born at the same moment as the sun. I think that it is time for breakfast, she says. Can you bring me some water? The little prince is surprised. The situation is new for him. But he brings water to the flower. The situation is new for him. But he brings water to the flower. The flower starts to play with the little prince. Her play isn't always nice. One day, for example, when she speaks about her four thorns, she says to the little prince, I am ready for tigers. They can come. I am ready for tigers. There are no tigers on my planet, says the little prince, and tigers don't eat grass. I am not a grass, the flower says, I am not scared of tigers, but I am scared of wind. Do you have something which can protect me from wind? It is not good when a flower is scared of wind, says the little prince, and he thinks, 
This flower is very complicated. At night I want to be under glass. It is very cold here where you live. The cold is not comfortable. I come from a place where... But she stops at this moment. Flowers grow from seeds. They don't know about other worlds. The flower feels stupid now. She knows that the little prince sees that she can lie to him. She quickly coughs two or three times. She wants to show the little prince that she is cold and that he doesn't care about her well. Flowers grow from seeds. The glass? I can look for the glass but you still talk to me, says the little prince. Then the flower starts to cough a little more. She wants to show him how bad he is. The little prince has a lot of love in his heart. But he can't believe the flower. For the little prince, it is important how somebody speaks to him. And the flower doesn't speak to him well. Chapter 10 Volcanoes It isn't good to listen to the flower, the little prince tells me one day. Never listen to flowers. You have to only look at them and smell them. My flower makes my planet beautiful. She smells so good. But I don't know how to like her. The story about the tigers makes me so angry. But it isn't good to take it so seriously. It is good to love the flower because she is so beautiful and she smells so good. He then continues, when we are young, we don't know many things. The flower makes my planet beautiful. It isn't correct to leave her. Now I know it. I believe that when the little prince leaves his planet, wild birds help him. He then continues, when we are young, we don't know many things. The flower makes my planet beautiful. It isn't correct to leave her. Now I know it. I believe that when the little prince leaves his planet, while birds help him dot on the morning of his departure, he prepares everything. He cleans his active volcanoes. There are two active volcanoes on his planet. They are very good when he needs to cook his breakfast in the morning. He also has one volcano which isn't active. But, he says, You never know. So he cleans this volcano too. If the volcanoes are correctly cleaned, there are no eruptions of course, on earth people are very small. They can't clean volcanoes. And because people don't clean them, the volcanoes can be a big problem. They can't clean volcanoes before his departure. The little prince also pulls the last little bear babs. He thinks that this is his last day on his planet. He doesn't plan to come back. He gives water to his flower. Then he brings the glass. At that moment, he wants to cry. Goodbye, he says to the flower. But she doesn't answer him. Goodbye, he says again. The flower coughs. But it is not because she is ill. I am sometimes stupid, the flower says. I am sorry. The little prince is surprised that the flower is sorry. He doesn't understand why the flower is nice to him. Of course, I love you, the flower tells him. Maybe, you don't feel that I love you. It is not your mistake. 
It is my mistake. It is not important now. But you are sometimes stupid too. Try to be happy. Don't put the glass on me. I don't need it. But the wind, the wind is not a problem. The night air is good for me. I am a flower. But the animals, I have to be stronger than two or three caterpillars if I want to see the butterflies. I think that they are very beautiful. If there are no butterflies here, who can visit me when you are so far? And I am not scared of big animals. I have my thorns. And she shows all of her four thorns to the little prince, then she says, don't stand here. You want to leave. So, go. She says it because she doesn't want to show her tears. She is a very proud flower. Chapter 11 King the little prince is close to the asteroids 325, 326, 327, 328, 329, and 330. So he visits these asteroids first. He wants to be busy. He wants to learn something. There is a king on the first planet. The king has nice clothes. He is sitting on a big chair. Ah. Here is a visitor, the king says when he sees the little prince. And the little prince thinks, how can he know who I am? He doesn't know me. Come closer to me. I want to see you better, says the king. He is very proud that he is a king for somebody now. The little prince looks around. He needs a place where he can sit down. But the king's clothes are on the whole planet. So the little prince is standing. And because he is tired, he yawns. It is not good to yawn before a king, the king tells him. You can't do it. I can't stop it, says the little prince. My journey is very long, and I am tired. Then you have to yawn. Says the king, people usually don't yawn before me. It is very interesting. Yawn again. The little prince wants to yawn for the king. But he can't do it now. He says, I am sorry. I can't yawn when you tell me to do it, says the little prince. The king is not happy because people must do what the king says. But, because he is a very good man, what he wants is reasonable. Can I sit down? The little prince asks. I order you to sit down, the king says. And he pulls a piece of his clothes so that there is some space where the little prince can sit down. The little prince is thinking about one thing. The planet is very small. The king doesn't control much. Can I ask you a question? says the little prince, I order you to ask me a question, the king says. What do you control? I control everything, says the king, everything. The king looks at his planet. Then he looks at the other planets, and all the stars, are you the king of all, asks the little prince. I am the king of all, says the king. He doesn't control only his planet. He is the king of all the universe, and do the stars do what you want? Of course, says the king. They do it fast. 
they do exactly what I want. Chapter 12 Mouse The king's power is very interesting for the little prince. With such power, the little prince can watch many sunsets every day. Not only 44, but 72, or 100, or 200 on the same day. And he can still sit in one place. At that moment he remembers his little planet, and he feels a little sad. He asks the king for something, I want to see a sunset. Please, can you order the sun to go down? If I order a general to fly from one flower to another like a butterfly, or to write a book, or to change into a sea bird, and if the general doesn't do it, is it his mistake, asks the king, your mistake, says the little prince. Exactly. We must ask what others can do, the king continues. The control has to be reasonable. If you order your people to jump into the sea, they can start a revolution. I can control because my control is reasonable. And my sunset, says the little prince, who never forgets a question when he asks it, you can have your sunset. I can order it. But I have my rules. We must wait. You can have your sunset when the conditions are right. The little prince doesn't want to wait. When are the conditions right for my sunset? The little prince asks. Wait, says the king, then he takes a big calendar. This evening at 7.40. And you can see that everything is as I order, the little prince yawns. He is sad that the conditions are not right for his sunset. Then this planet starts to be boring for him. I have nothing to do here, he says to the king. I want to continue on my journey. Don't go, says the king. He is happy because finally he is a king for somebody. Don't go. You can be my minister. Minister of what? Minister of justice. But there is nobody here who I can judge. You never know, says the king. Maybe there is somebody here who we don't see. But I can see all your planet, says the little prince. He looks at the planet again. There is nobody else on the planet. You can judge you, says the king, it is very difficult. It is more difficult than to judge other people. If you can do it, it is because you are really a clever man. That if I want to judge me, I don't have to be here, says the little prince. I can do it in other places too. I believe, says the king, that somewhere on my planet there is a mouse. I hear the mouse at night. You can judge the mouse. You can send the mouse to prison. I don't want to send the mouse to prison. Now I think that I can leave. No, says the king, the little prince is ready for his departure. But he doesn't want to make the old king sad. So he says, if you want to control me, you can give me a reasonable order. For example, you can tell me to leave now. I think that the conditions are right. The king says nothing. The little prince waits for a moment. Then he doesn't want to wait longer. And he starts to leave, you are my ambassador. The king shouts adults are very strange. The little prince thinks when he continues on his journey. 
Chapter 13 People The little prince comes to the second planet. He sees another strange man. The man likes when people admire him. Another person who admires me, says the man when he sees the little prince. He believes that all people admire him. Good morning, says the little prince. You have a funny hat. I use this hat when I say good morning to people who come to visit me. But not many people visit me here. Really, says the little prince, really. Clap your hands, says the man. The little prince claps his hands. And the man touches his hat and he moves the hat a little. This is more fun than the visit to the king, the little prince thinks, the little prince claps his hands again and again. The man touches his hat again and again. After five minutes of this exercise the little prince starts to be tired of this game. Do you only touch your hat? Or can you do something else? He asks. But the man doesn't hear him. This type of people never hear other people. They hear only when somebody admires them. Do you really admire me very much? He asks the little prince, what is admire? To admire is to believe that I am the most handsome, the richest and the most intelligent man on the planet. But you are the only man on your planet. Yes, I know that I am the only man on this planet. But please admire me. I admire you, says the little prince, but I don't understand why it is so important to you. The little prince has nothing else to do on this planet. So he continues on his journey. Adults are very strange, he thinks when he is leaving this planet, when the little prince visits the next planet, he sees a man. This man drinks a lot. He is drunk, this is a very short visit. And it is a sad visit, this man drinks a lot, what are you doing, he asks the drunk man. The drunk man sits before bottles. Some bottles are empty. Some bottles are full. I am drinking, says the drunk man. His face is not happy. Why are you drinking? The little prince asks. I want to forget, says the drunk man. To forget what? asks the little prince. To forget that I feel horrible says the drunk man. And he puts his head down, why do you feel horrible, asks the little prince. The little prince wants to help the drunk man. I feel horrible because I drink so much. I know that it is bad to drink so much, says the drunk man. Then he is quiet. The little prince leaves the planet, Adults are very, very strange, he thinks when he continues on his journey. Chapter 14 Businessman The little prince visits the fourth planet. There is a businessman on this planet. He is very busy. He is so busy that he doesn't look at the little prince when the little prince comes. Good morning says the little prince. Your cigarette is finished. Three and two make five. Five and seven make twelve. Twelve and three make fifteen. Hello. Fifteen and seven make twenty-two. Twenty-two and six make twenty-eight. I have no time to light the cigarette again. Twenty six and five make thirty one. It is five hundred and one million. 
622,731. 500 million watt, asks the little print, are you still here? 501 million. I don't remember. I have so much work to do. I am a serious man. I don't want to lose my time with things which are not important. Q and 5 make 7, 500 million watt. Repeats the little prince. He wants the answer to his question. The businessman looks at the little prince. I am 54 years old. I don't like when somebody stops my work. It doesn't happen often. I remember only three times, the first time, 22 years ago. A bird falls on my table. The bird makes a horrible sound. And I make for mistakes in my calculation, the second time, 11 years ago, I have rheumatism. I don't have enough exercise. I don't have time for such activity. I am a serious man. The third time is now. Where am I? 501 million, million watt. The businessman understands that if he wants to have peace, he has to answer this question. Millions of those little things which you sometimes see in the sky. Flies? No, not flies. Bees? No. The little golden things. Lazy people like them because they can dream when they look at them. But I am a serious man. I have no time to dream. Are uh, stars? Yes, the stars. And what do you do with 500 million stars? 501 million, 622,731. I am a serious person. I need numbers which are correct. And what do you do with those stars? Nothing. I own them. You own the stars? Yes. But I know a king who. Kings don't own. They control. It is very different. And why is it good to own stars? When I own stars, I am rich. And why is it good to be rich? When I am rich, then I can buy more stars if somebody discovers them. But how can you own the stars? It is simple. Who owns them? asks the businessman. I don't know. Nobody. Then I own them because I am the first person who has this idea. Is it enough? Of course. When you find a diamond, it is your diamond. When you discover an island, it is your island. When you have a new idea, you patent it and it is your idea. Now I own the stars because I am the first person who has this idea. It is true, says the little prince. And what do you do with them? I look at them. I count them and I count them again, says the businessman. It is difficult. But I am a serious man. The little prince wants to know more. Dot if I own a jacket, I can put the jacket on me and I can take it with me. If I own a flower, I can pick the flower and take the flower with me. But you can't pick the stars. No, but I can keep them in the bank. 
How can you do it? It is easy. I write the number of my stars on a little paper. And then I put the paper in the bank. And it is enough? It is enough, says the businessman. It is funny, thinks the little prince. But it is not very serious. The little prince says to the businessman, I own a flower. I give her water every day. I own three volcanoes. I clean the volcanoes every week. I also clean the volcano which isn't active. You never know. It is good for my volcanoes. It is good for my flower that I own her. I help my flower and I help my volcanoes. But you don't help the stars. The businessman opens his mouth but he can't find word and the little prince leaves. The adults are very interesting, he thinks when he continues on his journey. Chapter 15 Lamp There is only a lamp and a lamplighter on this planet. The fifth planet is very interesting. It is a very small planet. There is only a lamp and a lamplighter on this planet. The little prince doesn't understand why there is a lamp and a lamplighter on the planet. There is enough light because the planet is under many stars. There are no other people on the planet who need a lamp, the little prince thinks, this man is strange. But he is less strange than the king, the businessman or the drunk man. His work makes the world more beautiful, when he turns on his lamp, it is like a new star in the sky, or new flower. When he turns off his lamp, he sends the flower, or the star to sleep. It is a beautiful job. And because it is beautiful, it is a good job. When the little prince comes on the planet, he says to the lamplighter, Good morning. Why do you turn on and turn off your lamp? It is an order, says the lamplighter. And he turns off the lamp, what is the order? The order is to turn on and turn off my lamp. Good evening. And he turns on his lamp again. But why do you do it so often? It is the order, says the lamplighter. I don't understand, says the little prince. It is simple, says the lamplighter. The order is the order. Good morning. And he turns off his lamp. Then he says, it is a terrible job now. I remember better days in the past. I turn off the lamp in the morning. In the evening I turn on the lamp again. I have all the day for me, and at night I can sleep. And is the order different now? The order is the same, says the lamplighter. It is the problem. Year by year the planet is turning faster and faster. And the order is still the same, now the planet turns around every minute. And I have no time to sleep. I turn on and I turn off my lamp every minute. It is funny. Your day is only one minute long. It is not funny says the lamplighter. Our conversation is already one month long. A month? Yes. Thirty minutes. Thirty days. Good evening. And he turns on his lamp again. The little prince watches the lamplighter. 
He likes more and more this man who follows the order. He wants to help his new friend. I can show you how you can stop your work. I always want to stop my work, says the lamplighter. The little prince continues, your planet is so small that you can walk around it in three long steps. You only have to walk more slowly. And you can always be in the sun. When you want to stop your work, only walk. And you never have to work again. How can this help me, says the lamplighter. The one thing which I love in life is to sleep. Then you are not lucky, says the little prince. I am not lucky, says the lamplighter. Good morning. And he turns off his lamp. The little prince continues on his journey. He thinks, the other men, the king, the drunk man, the businessman can laugh at this lamplighter. But he is better than the other men. It is because he cares about something else, not only his things, this man can be my friend. But his planet is too small. There is no place for two people. The little prince doesn't want to say the real reason why he doesn't want to leave this planet. He doesn't want to leave because the planet has 1,440 sunsets every 24 hours. Chapter 16 Geographer The sixth planet is bigger than the last planet. The little prince sees an old gentleman. The man writes big books. Oh, here comes an explorer, he says when he sees the little prince. The little prince sits down on the table. He is tired from traveling so long and so far. Where are you from? The old gentleman asks him. What is this big book? Asks the little prince. What are you doing here? I am a geographer. The old gentleman answers. What is a geographer? A geographer is somebody who knows where the seas are and rivers, cities, mountains and deserts. It is very interesting, says the little prince. Finally here is a man who has a real job, he thinks. And he looks around at the geographer's planet. Your planet is very beautiful, he says. Does the planet have oceans? I can't say, says the geographer. Dot R. The little prince is sad. And mountains? I can't say, says the geographer. And cities and rivers and deserts? I can't tell you, says the geographer, but you are a geographer. It is true, says the geographer, but I am not an explorer. There is no explorer on my planet. The geographer doesn't discover cities, rivers, mountains, seas, oceans, and deserts. The geographer doesn't have time for traveling. He doesn't leave his office. But the explorers visit him in his office. He asks them questions and he writes what they remember. And if the information is interesting to him, then the geographer has to ask more questions about the explorer. He has to know if the explorer is a good person. The little prince wants to know why the explorer has to be a good person, the geographer says. An explorer who is a bad person can give information which is not correct. And also an explorer who drinks very much can give bad information. Why? asks the little prince, because drunk people don't see correctly. 
Then the geographer can draw two mountains in a place where there is only one. I know somebody, says the little prince, who drinks a lot. He can be a bad explorer. It is possible. So when the explorer is a good person, then I have to check if his information is correct. Do you visit the place? No. It is too complicated. But the explorer has to give me proof. For example, if he knows about a big mountain, the explorer has to bring some stone from the mountain. Then the geographer smiles. But you come from very far. You are an explorer. You must tell me about your planet. The geographer opens his big book. He prepares his pen. Tell me about your home, says the geographer Dotto. Where I live, says the little prince, it is not very interesting. It is very small. I have three volcanoes. Two volcanoes are active, and one volcano isn't active. But you never know. You never know, says the geographer. Dot. I also have a flower. We don't write about flowers, says the geographer. Why not? The flower is the most beautiful thing on my planet. Because flowers don't live very long. In geography we have very correct books. Our books are almost always true. A mountain usually doesn't change its position. An ocean usually doesn't lose its water. We write about things which are here for a long time. But volcanoes which aren't active can be active again, says the little prince. Dot. If volcanoes are active or not, it is the same for us, says the geographer. A volcano is a mountain. It is important. A mountain doesn't change. Your flower is different. Your flower can be gone soon. My flower can be gone soon. Of course. My flower can be gone soon. Thinks the little prince, and she has only four thorns for protection. And she is home alone. The little prince is sad. But he wants to continue on his journey. What is an interesting place to visit? He asks. The planet Earth, the geographer answers. It is a nice planet. And the little prince continues on his way. He is still thinking about his flower.